not a repeat of this terrible atrocity. Thanks, Tim. <clears throat> Senator Scott. In Florida, we've got a lot of, a lot of individuals that uh, have family members uh, in Israel. And we have a lot of people in our state that came from Israel. Um, I've had a lot of trips to Israel. Uh, yesterday, I talked to a lady that um, worked at a kibbutz that I had the opportunity to visit on one of my trips back in 2019. She's only alive because she was not there. I asked her what happened. She said, the people on my left, the house on my left, the house on my right, almost ho every house on the street, everybody was shot at gunpoint. She said her sister was in a um, uh, secure shelter, and they were, uh, she was talking to them, uh, and Hamas was trying to break in. She said, kids watch their parents be shot, and they've been kidnapped into Gaza. She said there's, she's seen the pictures of babies mutilated from her village. She'll never be able to go back to her village. She's lost everything. So we're only up here talking because I ran back to Hamas and did all this, because they hate Jews. They hate Jews, they hate Israel, they hate America, they hate Americans. That's why we're here. 31 Americans are dead. We don't know how many Americans are held hostage. 1,400 Israeli Americans and, other, and Europeans are dead. They're dead. I, I want to make sure they get, Iran gets held accountable and Hamas gets held accountable. Hamas needs to be destroyed. Every member of Hamas needs to be murdered, killed. They need to be dead, what they did. So, as you've heard, we have a president that appeases uh, Iran. So if you look at some of the video, some of the pictures and some of the videos about the attack, what did they have? They had humanitarian aid, first aid kits that Hamas is using. If you look at Israeli TV, you see a whole bunch of pictures of rice um, bags with bullets in it to go to Hamas. But what's our, so this is our money going to Hamas. That's exactly what it is. So today, President Biden announced $100 million, more money uh, to aid for Gaza and the West Bank. That's our money. You go, well, they're holding Americans. They're holding Americans, and we're going to give them money. I, just, I mean, would you do that? Who would do that? Who would give someone? They're holding your family hostage. They've killed your family, and we give them money? This is crazy. So I've got a bill. I'm going to do a UC this afternoon. Stop taxpayer funding the Hamas Act. It's going to stop this. And I wish we had a president that understood this appeasement doesn't work and started talking about the 31 Americans that died and the unbelievable number of Americans that are still being held hostage. What in the hell is he doing to get them back? Why would we spend a minute of our time and clearly none of our money to figure out how to get more aid to Gaza to help terrorists. This makes no sense.